We're approaching the end of our coverage here as we get farther into New England with our next couple of locations. Uh, Burlington, Vermont, you're on deck in 50 seconds to see this total eclipse uh, with that to path of totality coming right over you. But if you missed out this time, but you're getting all excited saying, oh man, it's been great seeing everyone go out and enjoy it. Our next total eclipse happening August 23rd of 2044. That is only gonna impact Canada and the Northern Plains. So not even going to cut through the whole country. But the year after, August 12th, 2045, there is going to be a total eclipse going from uh, Northern California all the way through Florida. So, Brian, maybe you'll be able to see that one. Yeah. Uh, as we do have uh, 20 years, 21 years to go. We until got 20 that years cut. to wait, though. I know. I mean, you know, we're looking right now uh, at Vermont, Stowe, Vermont. If you're a skier, you know Stowe, Vermont. Snow's starting to melt there, but you can see it looks like everybody's out there. Uh, waiting, and that, that's what we're about a minute out, I think, in Vermont, right? Yeah, it should be happening. Burlington's getting in on the action right now, but we should see this scenery get darker any moment now. You're actually, I think, able to kind of see that darkness fall over the horizon. Yeah, it's going to swallow up the horizon in darkness, as we're seeing right now, and then eventually take over the entire rest of the area. But right now, obviously, look at the people. They're casting long shadows. We still have that sun out there, at least part of it, meaning that we're not in that full umbra. We're not completely covered by the moon shadow quite yet, but that will likely change here again in just another minute or two. Everyone getting excited. I hope all those folks have their solar eclipse glasses on to enjoy this view. Of course, a little more rural means you got a little more area to stretch your legs in this location, uh, but still just as cool of a sight as we've gotten to see in all these locations across the country from Texas now entering into New England, Brian. That's how we know you're the meteorologist because you're talking <laughs> about which way the shadows are going. I'm just like a giddy kid, so yep. excited about the whole thing. But you're right now, I noticed the shadows. We're gonna stay on this shot because we're gonna see it go dark now uh, yep. in Stowe, Vermont, just like we did a little while ago uh, in Buffalo, New York, in Niagara Falls, just like we saw all across the country, Indianapolis, mm -hmm. Arkansas, Texas. It all began at the border. We had Ali Bradley at the border. Max, it's interesting, um, you know, with the different landscapes. Now we're looking at mountains and Stowe. We had the mm -hmm. waterfalls in Niagara Falls. It, it's a different experience, even just watching it. It does feel different every single time, and it's been awesome that we've been able to experience it over and over again now. You can definitely see uh, the Appalachian Mountains there are darker, and we have that dark sky overhead. I believe we're entering into totality right now at this camera view in Stowe, Vermont, 327 Eastern time. That's because we have that dark blue sky directly above this camera location, but now on the horizon, again, it's a blink, and then we go back to brightness because you can already see the horizon getting brighter. That's why we've been talking about all day. It's not 99% totality you gotta get into to experience that total darkness. It has to be the whole thing, 100% totality to get that shadow of the moon casted right over you and that once in a lifetime experience uh, that many won't ever be able to get. I've never been able to get into a total solar eclipse. Well, didn't uh, you say your parents so were cool. just racing to try to get to Indiana, Indianapolis, right? Yeah, so and my- they got, what was the road just blocked? It was too crowded? They came across some incoming or some inbound traffic. They said they made it to the far northern edge of totality just in the nick of time. They saw it for a brief oh, moment. And yes, now they're already on their way back. But it was a, a sight to see. I'm really glad they were able to make it. Uh, again, I'm, I'm so excited for everyone here in the foreground able to see it in New England as well. Yeah, you can definitely see it getting darker there, uh, Stowe, Vermont. It looks like, I mean, it's hard to tell, but it looks like there are some clouds, but. It, but that not a ton. I mean, hopefully they'll be able to see the corona there. Right, and those are coming in. So there was a system that moved through overnight. That's why it was so gloomy in Cleveland when we woke up this morning. But yeah, the sun gave way by around 9, 10 o'clock, and it stayed that way. But there are clouds moving into New England associated with that weather system. So it's nice timing for this eclipse to be happening right now, because if we gave it another hour or two, who knows? It might have been too cloudy. It might have been a similar situation to what we experienced in Niagara Falls. But you you can definitely see that twilight view indicating that totality has been reached. We'll have that for another minute or two, and then that brightness on the horizon will take over just like that, and then we'll be out of total darkness, out of the total eclipse, and into partiality. Again, partiality here, the partial eclipse, going to last for about another 70 minutes, uh, and then we'll go back to uh, let's say normal viewing, our normal view of the sun uh, as we exit this historic event 
Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.